Well, hello once again. You join me on the banks of a new stretch of water to me, and one that I've not fished before, yet it is local. And it's my first fishing trip of 2013, and that's even more special. Just to wet a line, first time for the new year. Excellent, in my opinion. And uh, the water that I'm fishing today is my local canal. Now, it's been doing some good fish. I am actually going to be targeting perch today, and it's done perch to three pound. So, um, it will be wonderful to have a new PB perch for the start of the new year. But I'm going to be remaining mobile, just using a purist rod sling and fishing that with my quiver tip, which is set up with a cage feeder, liquidised bread, maggots. I'm going to be feeding in a few chop worms as well. Bait wise, I've got lobworms with me and maggots. Let's see if I can pick up a perch or two from this particular spot. This area is quite interesting, it's got brick foundation either side of the canal, it narrows down to a kind of channel or bottleneck and then widens out again either side. I am going to try both sides, see if I can pick up fish from there and as I say I'm remaining mobile, I may head further downstream where there's quite a wide bend and it does widen out and um, give that a go as well. Just to see if I can get my eye in, see if I can pick up a few fish, ideally it would be nice as I say to have a perch. Anyway, as you can probably tell I'm dying to get fishing. So let's wet a line and see if we can pick up a fish or two. Well this is the area. As you can see it goes off in a bit of a bend round there, the canal. And it does widen out and I'm going to give that a go. I'll try to give this spot a fair going over. And um, as you can see it does narrow down where this pillbox is. And then widens again slightly around here. This is the area I'm going to be trying, just in this main area, near where the corrugated fencing is, and that supporting structure is, just along this area. I'm going to, as I say, use the cage feeder with liquidised bread and maggots and some chop worms. See if we can pick up a few fish and then travel on down and um, all being well, try a few other spots. Well, welcome back. I've been chopping and changing between the lobworms and the maggots, and um, just a little while ago, my first couple of bites, a few little taps, and um, that's made me stay on in this spot longer than I was expecting. Uh, I've had no more bites, so it's gone very quiet. And um, with that in mind, I think what I'm going to do is head downstream and see if I can try a few of the other spots and see if I can perhaps pick up a fish there, that would be really nice. But what was really interesting was that a chap come by with a couple of pike rods and um, he was out for the day dead baiting and he showed me a couple of very interesting pictures, gave me some information and we shared um, notes together if you'd like and um, had a good chat. And um, he showed me a picture of a lovely 20 pound plus pike that he had out and uh, it was in lovely condition. Uh, so that's really given me some confidence to um, come out and bring the uh, dead baits out and the pike gear. And he showed me another fish which is what I was targeting today and that was a perch that he had on spinner and that was a three pounder and it was an absolutely lovely looking fish. Really gorgeous stripey and um, certainly gave me some food for thought and um, as I say it's installed that added bit of confidence. So with that in mind next time I come out I might be on the quiver tip again but I am tempted to come down and um, be ultralight and mobile and do some spinning as well maybe, but we'll have to see. Anyway, as I say I'm going to try a few swims further down, see if I can pick a fish up there and if not, that's the way it goes. You know, as I say, new stretch of waterway, I've never fished it before, not really um, someone that knows canals that well as I do a lot of my fishing predominantly on rivers. So um, it's a learning curve and an enjoyable learning experience. 
but seeing fish like that perch, well that's got me mind racing to be honest and uh, that's a lovely fish and um, he didn't have it too long ago either so it isn't years ago that he caught it uh, which is even better so it's fresh proof of a very nice perch and um, fingers crossed who knows maybe in the forthcoming trips I might bag one still time today as well to maybe pick one or two up we just have to see anyway I'm gonna just pack up and move on further downstream well I've moved further downstream now this is on that bend that I was telling you about there's a few small fry topping directly in front of me but they are very very small but that's not necessarily a bad thing if there's plenty of small fry about there might be the odd opportunistic predator might be the odd decent perch about looking to intercept them and um, what I've done I've put a lobworm out into that area and also sprayed a few maggots across that area to draw the silver fish in and um, see if I can get a perch to intercept the lobworm. As you can see the far banks quite bare, it looks like it's been freshly restored or shored up. There's all those posts along the far side of the bank. And it goes all the way round in an arc further downstream as you can probably see there. So fingers crossed. I've only given the spot that you saw me in this spot and one other spot further down ago but something just didn't feel right with the spot further down so I decided to come back on myself and try this bend where the small fry seem to be moving about a bit. But yeah it's intriguing and um, certainly interesting. I'm going to have to fathom this out and work it out but that should be rather enjoyable especially when it all comes right. Well, it's been a glorious day. It's been mild and it's been dry which makes a real nice change. Well, my first fish from the canal, and it's a roach. This one looks like it's been attacked. Quite a bit of scarring that side. Ooh, bit of a mark on the back there as well. But yep, yeah, first fish. I thought there was quite a few small fish topping, and um, sure enough, there's a few roach about. To be honest, it would make a perfect pike live bait, wouldn't it? Makes you wonder if there is the old predator about, as I said in this area. And this chap's been, um, ha something's had a nibble on him anyway before. Anyway, first fish always welcome. Let's get it slipped back, shall we? Well, a little touch there. And again. And again. Oh, welcome back. Just in the same spot where I had that roach and there's a lot of silverfish moving about. Just had a bosh intake on the lobworm. Lovely sergeant. I reckon that might just be a PB. Or a PB breaker. Beautiful. I'm not weighed it yet. It's just superb. I lost a fish previously, which I thought was a, which I thought was a perch, and um, just as darkness is fading, got a second bite at the apple, and it's resulted in this lovely looking stripey. Aren't they beautiful fish? As I say, I'm going to give it away. Wow, that's made my day. Superb. What a really beautiful dorsal there, standing to attention. 
we'll mine a few more of these on a few more trips on the canal and um, move into the spot where there's a few silvers moving about pay dividends anyway look at that lovely fish anyway let's get this beauty slip back and um, see if there's a few more around before it gets dark and I have to head off home wonderful well welcome back no more perch to add to that one that I've just had but I'm more than happy with that you know I expected it to be a difficult trip on a new venue and um, it certainly has been uh, it's been an interesting one and uh, you know I'm more than happy with that perch which I sadly can't weigh until the person whom picks me up brings a set of scales with them unfortunately when I was chopping and changing my gear out of my rucksack just trying to lighten the load so I didn't have so much gear to carry I forgot my scales so that wasn't too clever was it but I will put a weight up on the picture of the fish that you'll see coming up next and um, as I say it does look like a PB breaker but I won't know until I get my set of scales anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video it has been slow going and um, obviously there isn't too much footage but there is that nice perch and um, from my point of view it's nice to share all the trips regardless of how they go this was one of those that is a learning curve as I say I don't do too much canal fishing and um, you know I have decided that I did want to address that and um, I do feel like I'm missing out on some real hidden gems by not fishing the uh, canals and um, that perch has certainly gone a long way to proving that uh, it would be nice to pick up a three pounder like the chap who was um, dead baiting showed me on his uh, mobile phone and that's certainly given me more food for thought so all in all a very positive trip and a most enjoyable one at that anyway until my next video tight lines and cheerio <laughs>